there are several threads for us to discuss this week that we've been working on throughout the semester already. And, and a lot of them have to do with this idea of change leadership. And what are some of the opportunities that exist to create change in schools? And what are some of the obstacles that exist? And when we started this conversation, we looked at the private sector. And we tried to pull some understanding of what happens in the private sector that we can apply uh, to the public sector. And we had a, a, a little bit of a conversation about that. And we're going to bring some of that back as we think about um, Imagine a leader walking into a public school setting, trying to affect some sort of change, uh, trying to improve this school. Where does that improvement begin? What's at the heart of school change and organizational change? And what are some of the obstacles that exist that are specific to not just public schools, but maybe a public school that you're familiar with, either that you're working in now or you've worked in at the past? So this is going to be uh, the heart of the conversation we're going to be having this week, uh, using some of, again, like I said, some of the work that we've done already, including the defining rigor exercise and the work that you're reading about in, in your book now, Change Leadership. So uh, I want you to spend some time first thinking about what is it that you're, you're really trying to accomplish. And, and Wagner talks about this as the problem that you're trying to solve. And so as you spend some time thinking about that, uh, you, may, it, you may be a little bit overwhelmed because you, you may have several problems that you're trying to solve, but, but try to get at the heart of what it is uh, that you're trying to do in your schools or that you'd like leadership to be doing in your schools to improve teaching and learning. Because we take the position that improving teaching and learning is at the heart of any effective change. And then reflect in, in a specific context, picking a specific school, uh, what do you see as the strategies that currently exist for trying to solve that problem? Uh, and what do you see as some of the, the obstacles that exist to implementing those strategies? For example, uh, communication issues. Um, and, and that came through in our defining rigor exercise. What are the mechanisms for communicating a shared vision of teaching and learning. How well do those work? Uh, what about the individual people? We talked a lot about uh, getting the right people on the bus. All right. So what about the individual people? Are, are the right people in a position to continue that dialogue and to improve that dialogue and, and to develop that shared understanding? And then, of course, to implement it. Uh, historical and contextual issues that exist. Um, mandates and, and legislative issues that maybe even at the local level either facilitate this type of, of change or, or maybe hinder it. And then who's accountable for solving this problem? Uh, and, and that's not necessarily going to be an individual person. It will likely be several people, but who is accountable for what? And how well does everybody know where the accountability lies? Um, and then finally, um, what kind of data is being collected? Um, how do you track information? In other words, how are you assessing um, what a good work looks like and when good work is happening? This all goes back to, to a sense of, of developing strategic initiatives around teaching and learning that actually have um, uh, some practice elements to them. That, meaning that it's not just something that sits on a shelf, but rather that, that people use it every day, these, this process and these strategic initiatives to help them think about the work that they're doing in the classroom. And when I say they, I don't just mean teachers and, and administrators. I also mean parents and students and support staff. So this will be the heart of, of the work that we're doing this week. You'll see that there's a four C's exercise coming up. That is not a, uh, an assignment that you need to type up and turn in, but rather it's work that I'm asking you to do in your own notes so that when I ask you to pull certain elements out of it for discussion post conversations throughout uh, the rest of the semester, you'll have it already available. So I want you to be doing that work now.